Hey everybody, welcome back to another Your Tech Report video, and today we're gonna be talking about the Tello Drone. Now this drone has been getting a lot of attention lately for a couple of reasons. Yes, it's a great little drone, but more importantly, it represents a real change in what we can expect from a $100, well, at $99, a sub $100 drone. It's made by a company called Rise, but it has DJI technology. The software that runs this drone is made by DJI, and the processor in here, I believe it's a 14 core processor, is made by Intel. So we're talking about a $99 drone at that price point with DJI software that runs it and an Intel chip that powers it. So this thing has an advantage really right out of the box. And just to give you some of the specs as I, as I start to unbox this, it has a five megapixel camera that could take obviously five megapixel still images, but 720p video that's uh, not optically, but electronically image stabilized. So it'll still give you a nice smooth look for video and of course for still images. It has about 13 minutes of flight time. It can travel about 100 meters away from you. Again, this isn't meant to compete with the Mavic Airs, the Mavic Pros, the Phantoms of the world. Those are 800 and up dollar drones, and this is a $99 drone, so you're not, it's not meant to really compare head on. But it does have a lot of features that we expect in more expensive drones and don't expect in the toy drone category. And I think this, the price point falls in the toy drone category, but this certainly has a lot more to offer than your typical toy drone. So let's get this sucker out. Now, I actually picked this one up from Best Buy. This wasn't sent to me. I bought it just like you guys go and buy stuff. Um, it is sold at the DJI store online. It is sold by DJI, even though it wasn't made by them. Um, you can also find this on Amazon, a lot of different big box retailers online. So you can find this in a lot of places. I, mean, I, keep, on, I keep on going back to the $99 price point because it's incredible that at that price, you also have a vision positioning system. I think there are two sensors on the bottom of the drone that let it know where the ground is or where your hand is. Because by the way, you can do hand landing and hand launch. You can do a hand and toss launch, uh, one touch landing. It's really cool. No GPS in this. Of course, you know, no GPS, it's $99, but the sensors that let it sense when your hand is there where the ground is, it is rock steady in the air. And I'm gonna show you a little video that we took with a different uh, Tello drone so you can see how steady and how smooth it really is. And it can, con it can connect to a controller. It doesn't come with a controller, obviously. It, it has an app and you can go to the app store and look for the Tello app and you control it with your phone using virtual joysticks. But you can use a Bluetooth controller and we will leave a link to the one, I believe it's the GameSir, uh, T1 line or 1T, I think it's T1. I'll leave a link below, but GameSir makes a Bluetooth controller uh, for around $30, anywhere from $30 to $50, depending where you get it, that can actually control this and has a little um, holder that will hold your phone in place so you can get a video feed and control it with a Bluetooth controller. It's really, really cool. Again, you get a lot for the money. So I just took it out of the box. Let me make sure I got everything out of here. And the very bottom is, oh, Okay, so I, I think this is the battery. We'll open that up in a second. And we have our Tello manual quick start guide, which is very narrow and chubby. So there's a very long list of things and a very narrow presentation. I think that's it. That's it that comes in the box. So we'll get to the actual drone in a second, but let's quickly look and see what's in the very DJI-esque bag that they pack in here. Okay, so in that bag, we get a full set of extra props, because there are four props already on the Tello drone, and then four extra ones that you can kind of see right here, and a prop removal tool, this little metal prop removal tool, which I'm guessing holds the prop in place while you, uh, while you turn the props off. So that's nice, we get a full set of props, and then of course we get the battery, which does not come preloaded into the drone, and you can buy extra batteries for this. But yes, yeah, you still get 13 minutes of flight time, and what I'm not seeing is a charger of any kind. I know it charges by micro USB that you plug directly into the drone, but I'm not seeing a charger anywhere or a cable. It's kind of odd that they wouldn't even put a micro USB cable in the box. I know most people have them, but how much extra could it have cost to put a micro USB cable in the box? I know they want to keep the price down, but it's a micro USB cable, come on. 
All right, let's get this guy out of his plastic prison. And here we go. Okay, look at this guy. Now, for perspective, I also, you can see the size of it right here. We can get a good look at it there. And of course, you'll see the empty space in the back where the battery goes. And you will see the five megapixel camera in the front that gives you 720p video and five megapixel stills. And where is, oh, on the side, you'll see there's a little micro USB port on the side. I don't know how charged the battery is, but I guess we're gonna find out in a minute. So let me put this in and boom, battery is in. Okay, I guess it's time to look at the guide. Oh, before we look at the guide, I wanna show you a size comparison between the Tello drone and the Mavic Air. <laughs> it looks like the Mavic Air's baby. It's so cute. But yeah, you can see the design ethic is sort of reminiscent of a small DJI drone, maybe like, a, like the Spark, very similar look to the Spark. You'll see it also has the prop guards already on there. They are removable, they just pop right off. For a drone like this, even if I'm flying outdoors, indoors, outdoors, I'm gonna leave these prop guards on. Now just so you know, I have already downloaded the app, uh, the Tello app from the App Store, so it's sitting on my phone ready to go. Uh, but before I start anything, I'd love to see what this in Incredibly tall and skinny manual says, uh, fly no higher than 33 feet above ground level and stay away from any surrounding obstacles. Okay, so they don't want you flying at any higher than 33 feet. And I think it has a maximum range of about 100 meters, at which point not only will you lose control, but it will not transmit the 720p video back to your device. Because remember, we're flying this with a mobile phone. Uh, charging time, approximately one hour and 30 minutes. Always, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go charge this up so it doesn't die mid-review, and I'll be right back. Okay, so if you're familiar with our channel, you probably already know that I may be just a little impatient, just a little bit. So I went and I plugged in the drone, and I was just sitting there watching the lights blink, just waiting for it to charge so I can come back in here with you and you guys and finish the video. I, I couldn't wait, so basically, I I'll show you. I basically attached it to one of my portable chargers, which is the advantage of having a drone that charges with micro USB. You could just take a portable charger and charge it anywhere. And it's sort of charging while I'm talking to you. Can you see the little, can you see the blue light blinking? I think you can. Yeah, you can, because I can see it too. So while we're talking and setting up the software and everything, I actually have it plugged in because I'm impatient guy. Could that be a superhero? Impatient guy. Eh, probably not. Okay, did that. No, not patient enough for that. Okay, I could do that. By the way, you should always look at your manual regardless of what I'm doing and mumbling and make sure you're operating a drone safely and properly. Oh, by the way, because this drone is around 80 grams, you don't have to worry about registering it with the FAA. It is not under its jurisdiction. You can own this and fly this and not worry about any FAA rulings because basically it's meant to fly very low and it's tiny. Press the power button on the side to start the aircraft. Connect to the Tello network from your device's Wi-Fi settings. There it is. So, oh, it's connecting. Okay, can you guys see? You should be able to see. It's letting you see around the room. Oh, look, there's a beautiful camera and the monitor. And wait, the not so beautiful me. Let me see if I can do this. How do I look? How's the video? Let me turn toward a better light source so I can give a better picture. How's it looking? All right, that's me as seen through the Tello. Let me take it off, see what happens. Oh wow, now, this is pretty stable. Now you'll see there are sensors underneath the drone. I'm gonna lower it a little bit again so you can see this. This is so cool. And it is incredibly, can you hear me over the sound of this? I hope so. So let's get it low right here. Wow, I'm doing this for the first time with you guys out of the box here. Okay, so you'll see there are sensors on the bottom and it senses that and it's moving the drone up. That is so cool. All right, let me land it now. Hand landing, oh, I'm making a hand landing. Yes. Okay, I'll do the hand landing. Oh, that is so cool. I mean, oh boy, that was so cool. Okay, so yeah, and look at this. And the video quality 
is pretty good. As I, as I told you, we had a little bit of outdoor video with a different drone. I never had the unboxing and startup time like I did with you guys right now, but someone did have one that was all set up and ready to use, and we got some footage that I will show you. And if we go to that footage, much like you saw inside with how stable it was, when you have this thing outside, it is rock solid in the air. And I think it has mostly to do with that vision positioning system that I talked about where, you know, you saw those two sensors, or I will, I'll show you after, the two sensors on the bottom of the drone that let it know where it is in space in relation to the ground or your hand. And you'll see it's just, it's just rock solid. And I love the fact that you could just walk around it. It's not, you, you feel very safe with it, is what I'm saying. A lot of drones, especially Especially when we're talking about a $100, even a $200 or $300 drone, you don't necessarily feel safe, especially without GPS. They get very twitchy. This one is very good at staying put, exactly where you take it off. And I was very impressed by the stability of it, considering there is no GPS. So it's very solid. The controls are fairly easy to use. If you look at the bottom of the drone, you'll see that these two almost look like two little eyes on the bottom. I guess that is the vision positioning system, and that's what lets it know uh, where it is in relation to space, the ground, your hand, and you saw how responsive it was to my hand being under it. And this thing has flight modes, courtesy of DJI. It has little smart flight modes. It can do like a 360. I think it does a pullback shot. I think it does like three different smart shots that it can do all without GPS. Obviously, we have a lot of experimentation to do. We want to fly this a lot more. Is there anything more you want to know about this drone? We told you, about 13 minutes of flight time. I think it takes about an hour and a half to charge it up fully. Uh, are there any modes you want to see a follow-up video where we do more of the um, smart flight modes or do more outdoor flying? Let us know. And if you enjoyed watching this intro video to the Tello drone, let us know that as well with a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because subscribing helps us bring you these videos and makes you eligible to enter all of our giveaways. And that notification bell, once you hit it, it will let you know whenever we launch a new video. So. We hope you enjoyed hearing about the new Tello drone. We're gonna leave a link below if you wanna pick one up for yourself. We're looking forward to hearing your comments and, and seeing what you guys wanna learn more about when it comes to this drone. And we will see you on the next one.